are you doing, Jerry? Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm ready. You're here. Arm wrestling. And today is freaking a fun day. What? Now tell me. Remind the folks back home what you're doing today. Uh, I'm winning. You know? Against who? Uh, Travis. Travis Benzman. You got it. Have you seen him? Yeah, I saw him. Is this the first time you guys have seen each other in four years? Oh, yeah. yeah. First time I've seen a lot of guys in four years. And how are you feeling? Feel strong. Feel ready. Rested. Yeah, I'm pretty rested. When you're training for something like this, how much time do you give yourself before the event to stop training? A week, two I took, I took the week off. You took one week off. You got it. So your arm is fresh. Should be. Are you as good left-handed as you are right here? Oh, I'm definitely getting much stronger left-handed, so... Uh, I think I'll get my left there, but right now we're just focusing on the right. No, so right you, watching some of these guys, you kind of wish you were playing with Alessio and Juan Lawrence. All yeah, thinking, thinking back, I should have arranged it so we both had to enter the tournament and the money goes to the guy that wins the whole tournament. We made it a little more fun. I hate watching not enter. Yeah, I can tell you got you want to win this again. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. You know? Uh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough either way. Um, I guess as much as we need. We'll probably be ready in less than four or five minutes in between each match. And I don't need that much rest. Do you have a crew, a guy to warm your arm up? Or, I, got, I, got, I, got a, I got a bunch of guys. Support, I, I, I got a bunch of guys here, you know, so it's they spread up. Where do you reside out of? Where's your home? Uh, I'm outside Boston. Outside Boston? Yeah. yeah, yeah. What do you do? Uh, I run a couple car dealerships. Yeah. So. Hey, no Thank problem, buddy. No problem. We'll talk more after, I think. You know? Oh, yeah. I'd like to get some build up. Oh, please. It's, 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 it's going to be an exciting match. You know? Boo! Travis Bajan. Jerry Catterhut says he's going to win. I think he will, too. I have no chance. TV. Yeah, well, who's got yeah. TV? Yeah. I got on TV. Hey, are you ready? I'm ready. One handed, 198 class. Third place, Doc Tordowski. Second place, Kenny Zabrano. Doing well, very good. What, what part do you play in this super match? I don't play any part. I found the venue. It's uh, one of the uh, bars that my company I work for own. They needed a place. I told Pete and James to come look at it. They came. That's all I got it's to do. It's a good place. It's a great place for it. I mean, all the TVs and everything. TVs. You can see it from everywhere. It's perfect. They gotta be happy with this show. Oh yeah. I mean, look at this crowd all day long. To interview my boss. My boss will tell you. He's the owner. He's the man. All day long, from 12 to now. I know. Packed. I know. And you don't even get that on Super Bowl. Three hours, maybe. No, none of that. I don't even get anything out of it. Either. I just did it out of the goodness of my heart. Yeah. Any feelings on this match? Do you know Travis? I know Jerry very well. Travis is going to win. I hope Tra Jerry doesn't slow him down. He might have problems, but Travis is winning. What's going on with Christian Vinny? Christian Vinny, Christian Vinny dropped uh, 30 pounds, got 10 more to go. Going to sit around 250 and pull 42s at the National Station. I will pull in Vegas as a very light super heavyweight. I had elbow surgery last week, and I need wrist surgery. So we'll get get healed up, get better, and uh, pull 42. So you pick traps. In what? Sweet? Uh, Jerry really only has one move, so if Travis beats him in that one move, then it's sweet. Place, yeah. Please. Yes. Tell me, now, what do you think of the show? You've oh, seen I think it's great. I mean, Christian's worked for us for many years. We think the world of him, and, and he said we could uh, 
coordinate having the tournament here. We were very excited to have it here. Did you know? Have you seen it on this? Oh, yeah. I've always watched it on TV, ESPN and stuff, followed it, watched the sport grow, and, and I think this is amazing. We want to do more of these. This is great. great turnout. This is great. In the whole house all day long. Yeah, it was great. I'm going to start training him. He's going to start training. And you guys have some of the best competition. Some, some great guys. Thank you, Thank you very much. much. We're honored to have it. Thank you. All right. Credit to an arm wrestler that's been doing wonderful things this past year. Hey, I'm here in uh, Connecticut, Norwalk, South Norwalk, at the Black Bear Saloon. This place is a great place to have an arm wrestling tournament. Drinks all day, food all day, a good stage with good lighting. The promoters put on a good tournament. There was action everywhere. Action was like a war. Was, man, the last match, the final match of a uh, Robert Jenton Jr. and Denny Dubray. Man, they were battling, they were sleeping, they had bad men, hot shoes, everything. Was, they were all over the place. It was freaking amazing. And I almost can't believe it's not even over yet. We still have the Travis Bajan, Jerry Cataret, Supermath for 15,000 freaking dollars right here in our TV's house. This is our TV. We're going to have this up fast. This is freaking awesome. I'm so excited. I love arm wrestling. I love everybody in this restaurant. I love. I love drinks. Ah! Fucking turn this on. Because I'm ranting, goddammit. I'm telling you, I'm pissed. I'm pissed, bitches. So let me tell you something. You dumb fucking arm wrestlers. It's going to be the best out of five. Our two refs are going to be Chris Gangy and Keith Michelle. Both certified referees in the world of arm wrestling. Let's go. We need some more excitement over there. Let's get them fired up. No, 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 way. no, 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 Travis Page and Elbow Fat, Elbow Fat on the back of the pad. Push him off the back. That's the goal, right? Push him off the back. 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 Push him off the back.
in the middle with his elbow. All you bitches out there talking about who's fucking contract, signing with WAL, PL, oh my gosh, I can't arm wrestle for this fucking organization because I signed a, a motherfucking contract with that organization. Listen, all you bitches out there, you dumb motherfucking cocksuckers. <laughs> Thank you. 
Lot elbow fouling, but refs are refing. They fall into That's each the other's. The, the worst job right now is to be the ref. They fall into each other's technique. It's difficult. Travis comes it is. back. Jerry dives at. Looks like Jerry's pushing off, but that's his move. It's very difficult. Travis is a little upset about the setup. He's right, he's curled. He's turned under. I'm not gonna keep fighting the Listen, dudes. If you would have signed up 20 bucks a month, you dumb fucking bitch. We would have sponsored all your asses and said arm wrestle anywhere you want. Wear any t-shirt you want, with any organization you want, with a little sponsored by Arm TV. That's the shit. <laughs> you guys all right now, oh, I can't rep this organization. I can't rep that organization. Mother. <laughs> He's turned under. He's turned under. He's turned under. Both players be on us on the table. Both competitors setting up the referee's grip. Grab Taylor's hands, grab Travis's hands. Thing so far, Jerry has impressed the hell out of everybody. King Travis better suck it up and show us what he's king for. Let's go, Travis. Wake up. Come on. Every time he's let go, huh? It comes to me every time his elbow stops my hit, then he sucks it back. You got one. I just don't understand why the ref. One of them should be watching one elbow. One should watch Both competitors squaring up. Right there. Travis Elliott. There you go. Strap match. Both competitors are being squared up. Take go. Back. Oh, 
touch that. No, it didn't come out in front. The double was down on the pad. It never came off the pad. No way. Never, he's never, he's never, he's never, he's never came off the pad. Guys, let him just it moved all around the pad. It never came off. I saw Travis's elbow come I had him down. Travis's elbow come up. His elbow came up. So that's where I was stopping the match. Hey, did you see, see anything on his match? I didn't see anything on his match. I didn't see anything on his match. I thought you were calling it. Jerry's elbow never came off. Right. Yeah, he caught a push. He's down. There's got to be an advantage. There has to be an advantage. If I'm going to pin him, and then his elbow comes up to keep me from pinning him, of course that's an advantage. Does it gain an advantage on the match? Oh, my we God. We're this out there. Come on. What are we? Oh, my God. Come on. What's the call? His elbow came up this much. The elbow didn't come off the back, it came up. That's not true. How is it not an advantage? If I'm going to pin, and he has to stand here, my elbow came right here. That's an advantage. It came right here. That's an advantage. As soon as they say, if I am pinning him. No match, was there a foul? Was there a foul? Disagreement in the referees. The match was stopped because the call was made. Between them, they discussed this as there is no call. Match gets restarted. No, they're afraid to call a foul for the 10 grand. It can't just be no match. So they it's have either to call a foul or they start it all over. It has to be that. Start it all over. If they can't decide, you got two refs calling two different things. Both of them, listen to me. Both of them are fouls. Guys, we like to get this being a referee in a super match like this, not at all. You got two highly competitive competitors right here, a lot of money on the line, it's not easy. But they're trying to be fair with their calls, it's a lot of movement, it's tough. It's tough to make the wrong call, make the good call, it's not easy up there. They got just as much stress as the competitors. TV will have the first staff full time. You rep as a job for us, <laughs> and you rep any organization you want. We would have sponsored every organization, prize money every month for the rest of your lives. It was that simple. That simple. Done. Brought to you by BTB Productions. Have a nice day. Yes, I'm still pissed. When I filmed that event, I thought. Man, I thought within a couple of years we'd be hosting the prize money like that. I mean, 2006, 7, and 8, thanks to Don Fritchie, we were hosting uh, the biggest prize money event of the year. So three years running, we had the biggest prize money. I thought I thought if everyone just signed up for RMTV, we'd host uh, $20,000 tournaments at least once a month, in addition to sponsoring jobs for refs and, and the best athletes. Sadly... It didn't happen. And I don't even think with all the money that's been thrown at the sport since I've really been participating, I don't think uh, it, it, my vision has truly ever happened. Yeah, they've done some cool things, but for the money that's been spent, guys, we could have done so much more for life. Anyways, it's sad because uh, 
we had a pretty cool vision and I personally I love the sport I still love the sport but anyways this was to this day this day watching Jerry Cataret and Travis Bajan it was one of the best days of arm wrestling and it was early in my career and I thought I thought we were gonna do some cool stuff that's sad <laughs> It's, it's, it's all right, you know. It's, I came to gamble more than anybody else wanted to gamble. It's okay. I'm a gambling guy. How are you going to play? You got to admit, that was off the hook. That was over an hour. With that kind of money, what'd you expect? Wasn't going, no one I'm wanted to go easy. You, you won, but how did you have the balls to know you would win? You have a bigger ball. Because I'm the king killer. Okay, guys, you got an outfit to make. You just put yourself at the top of the freaking sport. Travis is still there, but you joined that group. How did you do that after four Guys, I've got two seconds. I've got an outfit to make. On a good note, we've got $15,000 cash to hand Jerry Cataract. Travis Badgett, let me tell you guys the original story about how this all happened. I'll make it short and sweet. Thank you. Me and Jerry are talking about arm wrestling. He sees a lot about Travis Badgett, how, you know, how Travis gets up there and wins. I got no competition. There's nobody in here that can beat me. Jerry's sitting at home having arm wrestling a few years. Tells me, he says, I can't let that happen. I got to go up there. He's too cocky. I got to get cocky. I put my arm up on a thing and I said, well, you're going to go back to training? He says, I ain't got to train, put your arm up. He hurts me. Ever since then, me and Jerry started training with all my guys, Rhode Island, Massachusetts. Woo! Trained with Jerry every week, twice a week. He went down to Connecticut, pulled the Connecticut people. Thank you, guys. He trained, he trained his ass off. I give him a lot of credit. He trained, he trained, he trained. Travis Badgett kept on and on and on saying he wasn't going to lose. Travis pulled me aside today and said, tell Jerry to give me the money and I'll just leave early to save him the embarrassment. Jerry still wins victoriously. Let's all give Jerry Cataret a round of applause.
Thank you. Thank you, everyone. But I do owe it to Travis, wherever he is. Because if it wasn't for Travis, I wouldn't come back in the sport. And Travis has done a lot for arm wrestling. Because everywhere I go, I told people I was trying to take them back on. And everyone that wasn't even into arm wrestling all said, Oh, is that that big mouth that's on TV that's always talking crap? But you know what? He's a hell of a guy. And thank God that I won that last match because there's no way I could have went for another one. But he's a great competitor. And I'm sure we're going to be meeting up again. And we'll be doing this all over again. But thank you guys. You guys are great. I'm TV. Right here, baby. Right here. Rematch 2006, guarantee. And you guys saw it here on Arm TV, and I told you so. I'll be back. You'll see me in Vegas. You'll see me at the Mike Gould Classic. You'll see me a lot better. This is only three, four months right here. Give me six months to eight months, and watch. Just gonna get better and better. See you on Arm TV. What about John Brzezink? John Brzezink's the man, you know? He's, uh, one of the only guys that'll go inside with me, and I'd much rather go inside. Everyone wants to take my hand. Travis is a mean bastard. He's got a great hit. Look at my wrist. Can you see my wrist? I don't know if you can see it with that with that light, but let me tell you, great hit, fast, catches that before the go. I wish I could have hit him before the go, but <clears throat> it's okay. I did what I wanted to do. I stopped him and then brought him back. Gary Roberts, maybe now you'll, 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 you'll believe a little more in me, right? Dethroned your king, now what? You know, can I be king number two? You know? No. Regardless of the outcome, you stepped up in my book. I mean, I respect you from the get-go. I can't believe that lasted an hour. I mean, Bob's going to have a heart attack. You? Regardless of me? <laughs> me, man. I couldn't stand the how, pressure. How long was that last match, man? It was I, long. I felt forever, you know, and we were both running out of gas. But guess what? The money's right here. You know, I'm, I'm happy as a pig and shit. Listen, I asked for a show. I got a show. I told you I didn't care who won. Yeah. I got a show, and whoa. I the match of the year right there, bud. That was, that was the meat of the year, <laughs> you know? And I want to see more of you. Oh, I want to see Gary, more you're gonna. Jerry Cataract. You're gonna see plenty of me, you know, because, like I told you, this is just the beginning. I got Travis to thank that uh, I came back. But and I don't think Travis is gone. No, no, you haven't seen the last of Travis. You he's, gotta watch out for Travis. Hey, on Arm TV, on Arm TV, there's your money. <clears throat> I owed you for uh, for my my Arm TV, because uh. I never got your. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm paid. Right? And I'm TV. That's the shit right there. That's making the sport bigger and bigger. And you're doing an awesome job, Gary. You know, keep up the good work because I owe it to that too for being able to come back. Because had I not seen all that shit he was saying on there, I wouldn't have been here. So, Gary, you're the man. Keep up the great work, man. That was kind of cancer. No, Jesus, I'm glad you didn't, man, you know? Match of the year, you wouldn't want to cancel that, you know? I, I got a rest. I, I was, I was My hot. <laughs> My hot, man. That's, man. Oh. Thanks, guy. Hey, next, does anyone know how uh, John Brzezink did? Out Five there? To one. Five to one? Good. So, hopefully I'll meet up with John next. He'll be in Vegas. But I'm not in a rush. I need a few weeks off, you know? I just gotta make sure you give me a call so I don't let a few weeks turn. Hey, you heard it. Jerry Cataret, the freaking. This guy's got balls. What do you think? What happened? I mean, well, how can a ref, Matt, how can you man, ref that? I cannot ref that. I'll be blowing up <laughs> because it's so tough. It's two guys, um, higher level. If you come to one of the tournaments, you better end those and, uh, so you can go at it again. If I come to one of the tournaments, Jerry did good. Try to play his game. He's oh, going to the Michael Classic Vegas. Right. He's in the game. That's good. That's good. So how would Jerry Cataract do against Marcio Barbosa? 
It should be interesting. I don't know. <laughs> we meet like man. Come on, we meet like five years ago. That's what the but, uh, she wants to be fun. You're gonna kill him. <laughs> very good. Very good. I, I was Travis, impressed. Man, Travis is. I love day, Travis. But be you know what? Any, any good, Travis. any given day, the match can be taken. Jerry Cutter right now. I mean, was this an anomaly? Can Jerry Cutter do this with anybody? Jerry is is a former national world champion. He's beaten everybody in the world before. It's a couple of new guys since he left. Um, and Travis is the man, and it was pretty much dominating. So does that make him number one? I think he's got to pull in a little more a big level, major level tournaments and, and good guys before he could claim he's number one. He let him pull Babuda, Sermianko, John, Travis again. Uh, their styles didn't match up. They were very difficult. Uh, I told you, if Jerry slows him down, it could be ugly. Something that much money on the line is it? Can you have? Can the refs do their job? It's like two dinosaurs going at it. It's like, what can you do? Can you get a fair start in the matter? I think they did, and I think the refs did a good job. It, most of it was complaining about elbow fouling, but Travis is coming back, and Jerry's attacking him, and, and it's hard. It's difficult to to see if Jerry's intentionally pushing him off when Travis is coming back. Now, was Jerry gaining or Travis gaining uh, an advantage when they were elbow fouling and they were just getting warnings? I don't know. From my advantage, I don't know what was happening. So it gets, it's a tough, it's tough, but I think the refs did a good job. I did. So let me ask you, just hypothetically speaking, we set up a rematch, Jerry Catter and Travis Bajan, what would they do differently training? Tra Travis do the same thing, Jerry do the same thing. Would they come in differently if a rematch would happen? To me, Travis is probably the smartest technical arm wrestler in the world. One of, if not the. Um, he will know how to counter him and beat him. He will watch tape and he will do what he has to do to beat him. Travis does not like to lose. He likes to be on top. So uh, he'll come back. Those are good closing words. There are some many. You want to win? Call me. I got my ass whipped. I'm coming for you. Oh, what to do what? Shake his hand.